Oh, Brewfest is the first private beer show that's going to be held in the province. We are bringing in at least half of our beer have never been poured, to our knowledge, before in the province. So it'll be absolutely new. Uh, we're also including all of the local brewers, including Mill Street, who have not yet brewed, but they have beer. Okay, well this is the elephant in the room. We've elephant got beer in front of us. We're talking about it. We're not tasting it. Let's well, go. we do have to give you a little bit of Plowman's. Okay, can you tell me about this? No, is, tell me about the pour. Well, that was very careful what you did there. Okay, the big thing is you don't want to be touching the bottle to the glass. Oh, why not? Uh, if you're pouring particularly at a brew fest or whatever, um, you've been using that glass and putting it in your mouth. So if I take the bottle and touch it to you, then when I pour it to the next person, I've just exchanged the kiss. Wow. And you don't want to be kissing everybody in the room. Okay, well, you said Some, it. Some, but not everyone. <laughs> with craft beer, the uh, thing that you want to start with is the appearance. Okay. Um, most beer, like wine, should be very, very clear, unless you're into a wheat beer. And wheat will cause it to be quite cloudy. Can we taste it, or are there more oh, steps? Oh, my dear, we want to smell I'm, it. Oh, gosh, I'm okay. in a rush. Okay. <laughs> yes. Slow now, down. Give it a little bit of a swirl. Okay. What you're doing is you're increasing the surface area from which the aromatics evaporate and go into the air. Okay. And then take a sniff. Get some nice malt, a little bit of spice. Okay. Gentle, not overpowering. It's not overpowering. Right. Okay, now we're going to take a sip. You want to feel it in your mouth as well as actually look for the flavor. Feel it in my mouth. Is it heavy? Is it light? Is okay. it creamy? Is it rough? Okay. Um, does it leave a film afterwards? How long do I leave it in my mouth? Swallow. <laughs> okay, so I'm really drawn in by the label of this one and the name. Julie, what do you think of the color of this one? Kind of good. I don't nice test and well. Clear. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. Not quite as overt as I would have thought, okay? It's kind of reticent, but a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pine resin. Wow. Wow. I really had to stick my <laughs> nose in to get the pine, but yeah, it's there. Okay. Now, when we put it in our mouth, we're going to taste those things. So, let's see. Okay, let's see. I think I found a favorite. You found a favorite I so did. far? Yeah. Oh, okay. Curmudgeon. Curmudgeon. Ah, thanks so much. Well, you're very, very welcome. All I will say is get out to the liquor store very soon because it is very close to disappearing. You'll find it in the seasonal section.